Good morning, cellos, and um, welcome to the fourth movement of the Janacek. Uh, we've done quite a lot on the Janacek, actually, so we'll just do the second half of the presto, which involves the andante, and then back into the presto again. Now, the andante is an odd little bit in the middle of this presto because you've got this exciting presto we're whirling around with uh, crotchets flying everywhere especially in the poor seconds um and then this andante is like a respite but you've got these weird um accents on the last beat of the bar um which makes it feel and and the second beat actually makes it feel rather sort of eastern european suddenly um and it seems it suddenly becomes rather uncertain and mysterious and then you get quite a tune. It's actually the viola's tune. So I'm talking around uh, 130, 130. The violas get this lovely tune and you're also increasingly getting higher and higher. So um, I'm hoping that some of the tuning might help and just getting the feel of this sort of odd little andante before when we hit back into the presto and uh, we bring the piece to a close. So what I might do is start with the andante, if that's all right. Then we'll work on the last presto, and then maybe if there's time, I'll play the whole lot through so you get the idea of the whole movement. So here's the andante. One, two. Andante, and I hope you felt those accents. He really wants to feel that you're suddenly sort of interrupting the flow with an accent on the second beat. So enjoy them and do try and place them exactly right so they're not panicked, they're not early, and they're not late. It's da ta, almost like you're sitting onto that second beat. Ta ta. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's there. And then um, I changed the bowing in. 38394140 3, just so that you're back I think it works quite nicely there if you if you end up so the 145 is back on a down bow and you end on a down bow and I'm not sure if there's much else to say other than count really really count and then make it sound delicate and maybe a little mysterious and lilting and then we're back into the presto so I'll go in a decent speed not a massive speed <laughs> right in with nice heavy bows so the fortissimo at the end is really kind of resounding in the cellos and throughout the whole orchestra a real really go for it um so that's the whole presto so what i'll do is i'll now play from the beginning all the way through i won't do i'll do the repeats as well how's that so i'll do the first repeat and get all the way through to the end okay from the top one Two. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, 
What? Andante, one, two, three, two, two, three. contrast and uh, really a way to quiet so I think andante is quite sort of quiet and gentle and then you can really get stuck into the presto but do work on those louds and softs and we could probably get the presto, presto up a little faster even than that and get it really whizzing and exciting so that's the fourth movement and I'm hoping we will get to the end actually right at the end of term so that's brilliant we've got I think two more movements it's really quite extensive this week so um Look forward to seeing as many of you as possible on the sectional on Thursday and we'll run this and we'll run all the others as well and kind of get you playing lots. <laughs> 